smothers it for the block. And then Gordon. And he was, uh, I'm more impressed with who led the break. Did you see Bobo lead the break? His passing is extremely efficient. If you watch him, he makes the right pass. The Congo was absolutely stunned that Eubanks went up and challenged. Come on, Drew, Drew is going to challenge anybody, and he timed it. You see how he stutter step? Congo thought he was getting ready to have a highlight, and he got highlighted. Yeah, he came up with that. That's pretty good. <laughs> You just got all the funny jargon tonight. Back and forth between Beal and Gordon. EG on the drive and kick. Three on the shot clock. KD lining up and connect. First point tonight for Durant. Again, KD made the shot, but you see what I'm talking about with Bobo. Like, he knew when he got the ball, he knew the guy that was open. And, and all the while with like four seconds on exactly. the shot clock. Suns pull within two after trailing by 14 early. Krejci bottled up. Miscommunication and a Hawks turnover, their second. Well, the Suns with a golden opportunity here tonight, each because not only are you playing a shorthanded Atlanta team at the end of a long road trip, Sacramento lost tonight, New Orleans lost tonight. And with the Suns' tough schedule, every opportunity they can get to take advantage, they have to. And Beal! Brings the boom. On the wrists. AD's got to recognize they're not calling that. Like the league is pretty much said they're not calling those fouls. You got to shoot through. Hernando able to get up and hammer the home on the follow. Yeah, Frank Vogel was pretty incensed last night on. And I think the players just have to get used to it. And they, and they are getting used to it. It's just a slow adjustment. Gordon, who got the steal, gets inside. Strong finish for EG. Yeah, when Eric Gordon is making those explosive moves, then you know he, you know he's filled self. Murray plays the passing lane like a defensive back. How many times we've seen that? Like cross court passes at this level is just fool's goal. Well, at this level, and again, knowing the defender that's on the other side of the floor, Beach, and that being the long arm Murray. And, and he just, he, he timed it. He saw it. <laughs> a little whack whack. <laughs> CD on the backdoor cut gets inside. Raptor going for 16 in the first. Challenge there by Allen. Suns forced to miss. Suns really showing more attention to Murray now. Suns about scored Atlanta 15 4 here in this second quarter. With the double team, Nurk with a pocket pass, slides down the lane. Well, Wesley Matthews is like on an island with a tidal wave coming. He's like, he's getting ready to run, then he just finally said, forget it. He's like, where's that red flag? Forget the it. Tsunami warning. <laughs> forget it. <laughs> Matthews spins off the baseline, throws up a wild jumper. Good politician there. A wise man knows. Matthews tries to reset from the corner, kicks it out to Murray. Yeah, but what about that Sun three-point defense now? Rotating fast. Well, and after a hot start from downtown, the Hawks have missed their last six from beyond the stripe. They were just 9 of 41 in the route at the hands of the Lakers on Monday night, where they fell 136 to 105. But prior to that, they had had a pretty good streak. Making almost 16 threes per game, 42% clip. Capella back on the floor. Touch pass, Hunter. Goes close out defense, but the brother said a little too aggressively there by okay. Gary Gordon. Son's got a few fouls to give. Hawks have won four straight in this series, trying to sweep the season series for a second straight year. The Suns get the turnover. Gordon on the drive, has to make a late decision. Allen in the corner, O'Neal with a look, and the hit. I don't know what O'Neal did. 
Uh, but since that Milwaukee game, whatever he did, he needs to he needs to book it. Yeah, he had four or five 14 points in that fourth quarter against Milwaukee in the loss on Sunday. And followed it up last night. Three of four with his 13 points. Again, good rotation. Look, Grayson, he has every right to shoot that. Like he nobody's gonna say anything if he shoots it. Even from there. Yeah, right. No one's gonna say anything. Uh, but again, that's good decision making as long as it's a good solid pass, right? I think the Suns have good intentions when they pass the ball a lot, but the problem is it's loose, they're loose with it, and it turns into a layup going the other way. That last foul, by the way, on Booker, his second as Hunter makes the pair. Yeah, I mean, Devin got you know, a little foul prone last night. You don't need that tonight. Even though he navigated four fouls in that third quarter very well. And the rest of the game did not pick up another foul the rest of the night. Swings a pass out to O'Neal. Bogdanovich runs him on the line. And O'Neal says, okay. Man, he didn't use the backboard. You know how tough that shot is when you're going right at the basket. You, like, kind of push it up there and drop it straight in. That's like your horse closeout shot, right? Yeah. Murray inside, able to shake off the defense, but leaves the shot short. Yeah, who, who was that to? Right. I mean, uh, it looked good. Three-pointer left short. Booger tied up by Krejci. Leans back from 15, leaves it short. Krejci's got some good limp on him. He really challenged that shot. I thought surprised Devin. Capella able to get inside and lays it up and in with the left hand. Foul on Allen. That'll put Capella at the line. Yeah, I remember seeing Krejci a couple years ago in Oklahoma City when they had that whole young group of players. His third season out of Czech Republic, originally selected by Washington in 2020, spent four years in Spain playing there. Booker on the drive, swings it out to O'Neal. Connects from deep. Well, the Suns had 19 threes last night. They're 8 of 14 there in the first half tonight. O'Neal with a couple. Bogdanovich on the drive, and well, the Suns are keeping 